Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. Motivator. This is Dr. Tommy Campbell, Jr. I want to wish you a happy Friday this morning. I just want you to know that you are destined for greatness. This is your time. This is your moment. And this is your season. In spite of what's going on all over the world, I want you to remain positive. Don't let this coronavirus keep you distracted. Don't let it put fear in you. For you have not been given the spirit of fear, but you've been given uh, the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. And I speak power over your life. I speak sound. I speak a sound mind over your life. I, fear is the false evidence appearing real. Yes, protect yourself. Take the necessary precautions, but don't get distracted. You are destined for greatness. And this motivational video, it is going to change your life. And I want to thank you. I am getting messages from people all over the world. You guys are sending me messages telling me that my motivational speaking is changing your lives. I am so glad that my messages and my motivational videos are changing your lives. And I thank you for all the messages that I'm getting from people from all over the world. You guys are telling me that my motivational videos are changing your lives. You're going after your dreams. Your relationships are getting better. Your lives are changing all because of my motivational videos. And I thank you for the messages I'm getting from you. I love you. I believe in you. And I know you can do it. You can achieve it. And you can accomplish it. I want you to stop looking for people to validate you. Don't look for people to validate you. I want you to validate yourself. I want you to believe in yourself. Stop looking for people to validate you. Believe in yourself. Why? Because your greatest hater is you. That's what I want to tell you. I'm excited. Your greatest hater is you. Your greatest fear is you. Not anyone else. Not your haters. Not your critics. Not your doubters. Your greatest hater is you. Your greatest fear is you. So let the world see that you are unique. This is what I want to tell you. Let the world see that you are unique, gifted, and Courageous person. I'm saying it again. Let the world see that you are unique, that you are gifted, and that you are a courageous person. Let the world see who you are. Believe in yourself so much. Go after your dreams so much until you will make a difference in the world. Until this world will see how gifted, unique, and courageous you really are. So, so when you, when you when, 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 when you get to a place in your life that you realize who you are, then there is absolutely nothing that can stop you. Because there are people, they just won't believe in you. There are people, they will not celebrate you. They will not encourage you. They will not motivate you. They will not inspire you. But I am here to motivate you. I am here to inspire you. I am here to encourage you. I am here to empower you. It's not about me just motivating you. I want to empower you to go to the next level. I want to see you successful. And I want to tell you that I love you. I believe in you. Maybe you've been telling yourself you want to write a book. See, that's me. I told myself for years that I wanted to write a book. But I wasn't a good writer. And I walked in fear. I said, well, what if I try to write a book and I fail? But now, years later, I am a published author. I am the author of the book titled Dream Big. You can get it on Amazon. Just go to Amazon and type in Dream Big and type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. And this book is only $9. This is a million dollars worth of great information. Only for nine dollars. And this book is changing your lives. This is probably one of the cheapest books on Amazon. And guess what? The Amazon Kindle is only five dollars. Yes, you can get it on Kindle. 
for five dollars. This book is a million dollars worth of information that will help you to achieve your dream. My life, my story will help you to achieve your dream. I want to tell you today, you are unique. What are your dreams? Let me tell you my dream is. I haven't said this in a long time. But my dreams are, I want to, uh, I want to speak in London. I want to speak in Australia. I want to speak in Canada. I want to speak in the NBA. I want to speak in the NFL. I want to speak uh, in uh, Major League Baseball. I want to speak in corporations. That is my dream. What are your dreams? I want you to have a dream so big until people won't even believe in it. Because when people say that you watch this, catch this now. When people say your dream is too big and too impossible, that's when you know you are dreaming. And today I want to talk about you are unique. That's the word for today. I want to tell you, you are unique. I want you to learn to fall in love with yourself. In order for you to be great and successful, you must know that you are extremely valuable. I'm going to say that again. In order for you to reach greatness and success, you must know that you are not just valuable, but you are extremely valuable. You have to believe in yourself. Don't you let your past, don't you let your failures, don't you let your mistakes hinder you from having faith in yourself enough to believe that you can achieve anything. And regardless of this coronavirus, this coronavirus will not defeat this world. This coronavirus will not stop your dreams from becoming a reality. Greatness is upon your life. In the midst of what's going on with this coronavirus, I want to tell you, you are unique. Keep grinding. Don't you get distracted. Put in 120%. And don't allow fear to ruin your life. You are unique. No matter how bad your past, how deep your pain, the failures, the mistakes, watch this, you still have something great to offer this world. Maybe you're dealing with unforgiveness. Maybe you're having a problem forgiving yourself. Maybe you are ashamed of your past. Maybe you failed and given up on life. Maybe you're struggling in your marriage, relationship problems, children problems, family problems. You never knew who your father was. Maybe you're dealing with grief. You lost a loved one and you can't get past it. Maybe you're sick in your body. You're dealing with a sickness. No matter how deep your past is, how deep your pain, the failures, the mistakes, you still have something great to offer this world. Why? Because your past, your failures, your mistakes, your issues, your pain, pain is only temporary. It is what makes you unique. So you have something unique to offer this world. You are, you are created not to be average. But you were created to be phenomenal. Let me share my story with you. This is what makes me unique, my story. I flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability all throughout elementary school, middle school, and high school. I was bullied in school. I was picked on. I was rejected. I was, I was cast out. I was always the underdog. I had a reading and comprehension problem. I could not take tests. Every time I would take a test, I would fail. And when I got in high school, I barely graduated high school. My high school teacher told me, she said I was not smart enough to go to college. She said I would not graduate high school. She told everybody else how great they would be, but she said I would never amount to anything. See, I could have took what she told me and received that. See, when people tell you that you can't do it, when people put you down, when people say you will never amount to anything, no matter how many mistakes you've made, you got to know you are unique, and you have to get to a place in your life when no one is encouraging you, when no one is motivating you. You, watch this, 
You have to become self-motivated. Maybe you want to be a professional athlete. Maybe you want to be a college athlete. Maybe you want that academic scholarship. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to be a CEO of a company. Maybe you want to be a real estate owner. Maybe you want to be a doctor or a lawyer. Maybe you want to be a rapper. Maybe you want to be a singer. Maybe you want to be an architect. Or maybe you want to be a movie producer or an actor. Whatever it is you want to be in your life, you got to know you are unique enough and that you deserve to be great. You deserve to be successful. You deserve to have the best. You deserve to have the victory. You deserve to be prosperous. In spite of what's going on in this world, we are going to overcome this coronavirus. You are unique. Don't allow your past, as I close, don't allow your past. Watch this. I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. Don't allow your past or your failures, watch this, to cause you to have low self-esteem. Because so many people have low self-esteem. So many people do not realize how valuable they are. So many people do not realize that they are an asset simply because of their depression, their addictions, their pain, their grief, their low self-esteem, them, them thinking they're too fat, them calling themselves ugly, them not knowing who their father is, growing up in a single mother home, have growing up in a dysfunctional family, going through grief or sickness. You cannot allow these things to cause you to have low self-esteem. Why? Let me tell you who you are. Because you are phenomenal. Don't let the voice that's telling you that you can't do it overpower you. You listen to that voice that's telling you that you can accomplish it. That you are phenomenal. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are intelligent. You can accomplish anything. Listen to the positive voice. There is a negative voice speaking in your mind and there is a positive voice speaking in your mind. Listen to the positive voice speaking in your mind and listen to positivity. As I close, I want you to go from an average mindset. You got to renew your mind. I want you to go from an average mindset. Watch this. What do you mean, Dr. Cameron? To a phenomenal mindset. The Kansas City Chiefs, they won the Super Bowl because they had a phenomenal mindset. Michael Jordan won six championships because he had a phenomenal mindset. Tom Brady won six Super Bowls because he had a phenomenal mindset. Uh, Jeff Bezos started Amazon. My, uh, Bill Gates started Microsoft. Steve Jobs started Apple. Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook, Google. Google came into existence. Twitter came into existence. Instagram came into existence. All because these people had a phenomenal mindset. If you want to do phenomenal things, if you want to do great things, this is what you got to do. Number one, when it gets hard, you cannot give up. Don't give up. That's the key. When you're going after your dreams and it starts to get hard, don't give up. There's going to be times you want to quit. But when you get to that place you want to quit, you got to keep pressing, no matter how hard it seems. If it was easy, see, greatness is hard to be great, because if it was easy to be successful, then everybody would be doing it. See, maybe you flunked that test. Listen to this. I flunked out of college. I got put back in college. I could have said, since I flunked out of college, I'm going to give up. But no, I kept grinding. I got back into college and got put on academic probation. When I was going for my master's degree, I wanted to drop out because it got so hard. But my academic, my academic advisor looked at me. He said, Tommy, you're going to get your doctorate one day. He said, you're going to change people's lives one day. He said, you're destined for greatness. He said, finish this master's degree. And then he said, go, after your, go for your doctoral degree. Then in 2009, I became homeless living on the streets, begging for food. And then after that, I was shot multiple times and pronounced dead at the hospital. And then right after I got out of the hospital, I didn't quit. See what I've been through? See, you wasn't shot multiple times. Imagine if you had to go through what I went through. The abandonment, the rejection, flunking first grade, barely graduating high school, being an underdog, being bullied, being 
Being told you would never amount to anything. Being an underdog. Being shot multiple times. Being homeless. Living on the streets. And now I'm a published author. Now I'm a motivational speaker. Changing people's lives. Believe in yourself. You got to know you can do it. You got to know you are phenomenal. I won't, I'm going to say this again. You got to develop a phenomenal mindset. Kobe Bryant won five championships. He was the black mama because he had a phenomenal mindset. Michael Jordan wanted the ball in the fourth quarter. Kobe Bryant wanted the ball in fourth quarter. LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, Stephen Curry, they wanted Anthony Davis. They want the ball in the fourth quarter because of, they know what they put in practice. They know what they do when nobody is watching. See, what's going to determine, then watch this. This is how you get a phenomenal mindset. What, how, if you become great in practice, if you become great behind the scenes, if you become great when nobody is watching you, when it comes time to get in the game, when it comes time to start that business, when it comes time to go to college, when it comes time to be that doctor or lawyer, to, to start that multi-million dollar company, that multi-billion dollar company, you going after your dreams, becoming a rapper, becoming a singer, or an actor, or whatever you want to be, you will have a phenomenal mindset. When you get a phenomenal mindset, you can accomplish anything. Last point. People who have become great I'm feeling this. As I close, I'm going to say this slowly. People who have become great and successful, they went from being average to phenomenal. I am no longer average. I am phenomenal. I put in the work. I put in the blood. I put in the sweat. I put in the tears. I put in 120%. I'm no longer an average motivational speaker, but I'm saying I am a phenomenal motivational speaker. I'm a phenomenal person. Tell yourself, I want you to say it while you're watching this video. Say, I am phenomenal. Say this. Say, I am no longer average, but I am phenomenal. You are phenomenal. As I close. I want to tell all my Facebook friends that are watching this video, you're no longer average. You're phenomenal. It's time to grind and put in 120%. We're not going to let this coronavirus defeat us. We're going to defeat this virus. We're going to go after our dreams. We're not going to get distracted. Yes, we're going to protect ourselves. Yes, we're going to stay safe. But we're not going to let this stop us from grinding, putting in 120%. Because you are unique. We will survive this. We will overcome this. You are unique. I want to tell everybody watching this on YouTube. As you're watching this. I love you. I want to tell the whole world. That I love you. I thank you for supporting me. As a motivational speaker. I thank you for believing in me. Please share this video all over social media. I want to tell the world that I love you. I believe in you. I know you can achieve it. I know you can accomplish it. If you want to book me to speak, go to my website, www.drtommycampbelljr.com. www.drto, M as in Mary, M as in Mary, Y as in yellow, C as in cat, A as in apple, M as in Mary, P as in Paul, B as in boy, E as an elephant, L as in light, L as in lion, J as in John, R as in right, dot com, www.drtommycampbelljr.com. And look at all the information on this video where you will have links to my book, uh, my Facebook, and, you will, and if you need encouragement. See, we're going through a crisis right now. We're going to get through this. If you need encouragement, please, I'm getting messages from people all over the world that are telling me that my motivation videos are changing their lives. If you need encouragement, reach out to me. I love you. I'm here for you. I believe in you. Thank you. That is my time.